Hey, how's it going, guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to share a VBS script to auto import CSV files to Microsoft Access database. So, this is a script I use almost every day when I download my YouTube analytics reports and store them in my Access database. The advantage using a script to import your data files is when you have multiple files you need to import, a single action will finish the job nicely. So, here let me give you a quick demo. So here in this access database, I have a list of tables, and each table is corresponding to the files in my reports folder. I'm going to delete all the tables first. Next, I'll run my M import reports macros action. And once the macro is finished, I'm going to get the message box data files importer and click on OK. And here are all the tables corresponding to each data file in my reports folder. So that's for the demo. Now let me close this access database. Here I have a blank access database. I want to click on create and click on visual basic to open the VBA window. Next, I'm going to right click on the project, insert and create a new module. I'm going to create a function called import data files. So in access, we call a macro by creating a function, very similar to Python programming. And here I'm going to declare my variables first. And it's going to be the uh, folder path. I'll name the variable report path, a string. Then I'll create a variable called file name, a string. I'll go back to my reports folder and I'll grab the folder path. And I'll assign the folder path to the report path variable. And make sure that you insert the background slash at the end. Next, I want to insert a do while loop to iterate each file. So I'm going to type do while file name. It's not equals to VB now string. And we need to close the loop by inserting the loop statement. And here I forgot to grab the first file name. Here I'm going to type file name is equals to. So to iterate each file, here we can use the dot function followed by the uh, file path pattern. And it's going to be the report path. And since my data files are going to be in CSV files, here I'm going to insert the wildcard symbol. Dot CSV. For the attribute type, it's going to be VB directory. Now going back to the do while loop to import a file to access the database. Here I'm going to type do cmd dot transfer text. For the transfer type, it's going to be AC import the limits. I'm going to leave the specification name blank. For the table name, I'm going to use the file name while the extension. I'm going to insert the replace function first, followed by the file name. And I want to replace the extension csv with empty string. And I also want to use the trim function to remove any extra space. Next, we need to provide the file path. And it's going to be report path concatenated with the file name. And since my data file contains the column headers, I'm going to set the has field names parameter to true. And to go to the next file, we need to reassign the file name. And here I'll type file name is equals to the. And once the test is finished, I'm going to insert message box data files importer. And that's it for the previous script. Now we need to go back to access to add the uh, VBS script to the macros. Under the create tab, we want to click on macro. On this macro page, we can add multiple actions. And since I only have one action, from the add new action dropdown, I'm going to select run code. 
And for the function name, I'm going to type the function name, import data files. And make sure that you insert the uh, parentheses and save the macro. I'm going to name the macro and import data files. And make sure that you save the figure script. And that's everything we need to do to set up the automation. Let me close the tab first. Now let me try again. And it seems like the import is finished. And to verify, we actually import the data. So here I'm going to open one of the table. And I'm going to make sure that the total records is correct. So this is everything I have to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.